Hi guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to carry on with uh, 50 Wintertime and Dallas by Camellia Angel Cover as our colour and chat. Final colour and chat of the year. I hope you're all okay. So this is a channel that is for adults and the content is not made for or intended for children in any way, shape or form. So let's crack on. We were doing the Christmas tree. So we've done the tree, we've just got the background to, um, to do. I'm not going to do the bottom. I am going to put a Wink Stella over at the bottom. So we've got to, some stars to do and we've got quite a lot of stars to do <laughs> so uh, yeah we'll start and there's some snowflakes but we'll probably do those um, again with just the, the wink of Stella so I'm just going to start on uh, this just so it's a bit different from the ones on there we have used the Sakura jelly rolls as well and I will continue to use those on some of these as well when I get into it. So, how are you all? How are you feeling? It is the end of 2020. Is that a relief? Is it a good thing? Do we shout Jumanji at the end of the year so we can escape from this <laughs> situation? Or do we just, you know, hold our breath and pray that 2021 is a better year? Couldn't, couldn't be any worse. Let's be honest, it can't be any worse, can it? Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I've been working this week. It's been very hard to work, actually, because um, I was off Monday, obviously, because New Year's Day is a bank holiday in the UK, so we had Monday off. And then Tuesday morning, Monday night, Tuesday morning, 2.30, Tuesday morning, Jennifer wakes up and starts crying, and I think, I think oh, God, here we go. Is she crying in her sleep? Is she having night terrors? Or has she had a nightmare? So I, I leave it for a little bit just to see, because sometimes she does cry out in her sleep and she goes back to sleep. Then suddenly I hear, Mummy, Mummy, wake up. And I think, all right, okay, she's awake. So I go in and I cuddle her and it, she says she's had a bad dream. So I cuddle her and, and console her for, for a bit and we have a cuddle. And then I say, you ready to go back to bed? She nods, so I put her back down. Come back in here, 10 minutes later, she started again. Well, to be fair, she did not go back to sleep at all. So that means I didn't go back to sleep at all. So eventually I brought her in here thinking, okay, if she's in here, you know, if she's feeling a bit scared, she might snuggle down with me and go to sleep in bed. No, she wanted the television on. I'm like, no. Okay, put it on for a little bit for her. Then she wants to, you know, it's getting on five, half past five now, quarter to six. So I'm thinking, ah, i got to work soon. Eight o'clock, got to start work. I had no sleep. Well, not much sleep. And then she um, wanted to go downstairs. And I wanted to go downstairs. I was cold. I wanted a cup of tea, a drink. So we went down. I normally get up at ten past six. I wasn't planning up to get up, to get up until about seven because, obviously, I get up early to take her to nursery for half past seven. And I like to have an hour's peace on my own. Well, of course, I was hoping to get that before I started working on Tuesday, but I didn't because she was awake and then so I'm trying to work and she's climbing all over me and I'm like no Jennifer mommy's trying to work no, she won't have me she's trying to sit on me and I'm trying to do emails and take phone calls it's impossible so I mention it to one of the bosses she says fine just come off the phone do emails it's pretty quiet I can't see it getting any busier so I said all right then I said let me know if you need me to jump on that's fine you know if it gets busy because sometimes it does and she said, cool. So she did call me on a, a couple of times, but nothing horrendous, nothing major. Um, and then I, in the end, I gave up. I said to Paul, I said, I cannot work like this. I can't work with her on me. She's on me all the time, even just doing this. I said, I have to go upstairs. So he was trying to work as well. But when he's working, she doesn't try and climb on him. If I'm not there, she'll watch TV. She'll play. She'll go and sit with him and watch. She'll get her toy laptop out and pretend she's working too but if I'm there she climbs all over me so I said look I'm going upstairs he said no that's fine you go upstairs you can't you can't work like this um so I went upstairs and I said I mentioned it uh, that I would need to keep checking on her as well and they said that's fine and um I worked upstairs so she was all right and then I went down and she was fine um when I went down I start I would go down when she started yelling mummy mummy wake up because she thinks I'm asleep if I'm in the bedroom even though I'm not um but I'm working in it and I just said to her I'd go down and say all right you okay you want you want something and usually it's something to change the channel or something like that put a different video on 
and she was fine then. And I um, just carried on doing what I was doing, which is great. So, I ran, and I went down at 20 to 12 and she was still awake. She gave me a big hug and I, I was, needed the bathroom, went to the bathroom as well and then went back to work and I ran 20 past 12, I thought it was gone ever so quiet. I bet she's crashed out now and uh, I went down just after half past and she had crashed out. She was in a cot. Now she can get in and out of that on her own so it's possible she actually got into it on herself and Paul didn't notice but he said he couldn't remember whether he put her in or she got in herself so it's a travel cot so it's you know it's not as high up as a a proper cot and she was out so I covered her up and I had some lunch and I said Paul I'm going to bed. <laughs> I was absolutely felt dreadful I, you know and then I slept for a few hours and then we had tea we had a takeaway because I was we were both shattered I think that was it might not have been I, I can't even remember now and and then it was just a matter of um coming to bed yeah it was horrible and then today Wednesday. So, see, I can't even remember what day it is, but yeah, it feels like that was years ago. It was only yesterday. So, still really tired, but not as bad as I was, and it's fine. I, I, you know, I worked upstairs again, and she stayed downstairs with Paul. I, and when she called me, I'd go down and check. I said to my manager, "Look, I'm gonna have to check on her. I'm upstairs working because blah 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 blah." Explained that she'll just sit on me all the time, and my manager said, "Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. Go in. if you have to go and check on her. You know, you have to keep checking on her. That's fine." Because uh, Paul gets so into his work, he will forget. Or it's, it's she'll call for me. And he'll he'll text me, can you come and check on Jennifer? She's asking for you. So most of the time he, he's good as gold with her. He's, he gives her a breakfast and he's sort of changing her if necessary. Good as gold. I'm fine, no problem. I go downstairs at half past twelve and she's standing there in her nappy and I'm like, what? why have you taken off your clothes? And she'd taken off her clothes and I don't know why. I had said we'd go to the park, which we did. And I said, well, come on, let's go and get you some clothes. I'll go up and get you some clothes, shall I? And she said oh, she wanted to come and choose them. So we went upstairs and she chose what she wanted to wear, which was fine. It's all dinosaurs. <laughs> it's all about the dinosaurs these days, I tell you. And uh, so we got dressed. I had my lunch and then I got myself sorted out and I said come on then we'll go down the road and she's got into this habit now because when she was a pool they always go into the shop before they go in the park to get a drink and any shopping that we might need now, I didn't need anything but because she wanted to go in we went in the park she's like shop now I'm like oh all right then so I always got a spare mask on me I now need to replace it because um I used it today um I've always got a spare mask on me which is good job really so I went in um into spa got her a drink and an egg a pool patrol egg um it's like a kinder egg kinder surprise similar thing they're different brands now and i went in and got myself a cup of tea and a cookie from greg's thinking oh i'll have this in the park i managed to drink the tea didn't get to eat the cookie brought it home shared it with paul <laughs> because she was uh, so busy hold this mummy hold this mummy and i'm like okay um and once we'd had our drinks or she'd had part of her drink and of what she wanted of the egg and I'd taken out the eraser that was in the, the uh, plastic egg so she could see it. Um, I think it was Rocky. Was it Rocky? Yeah, Rocky. I can never remember. Or was it Chase? It might have been Chase. I have no idea. I'd have to watch it. Pearl Patrol to find out. I'm no, not very good at that. I think it was Chase, actually. And then we... Um, she went and played. She went on the slide. She went on the swing. She went on the spinny thing. And it was getting really cold and there was nobody in the park. We were the only people in the park at this point. And it wasn't that late. And I've got to change the battery. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, it, we were the only people in the park. Um, it was getting cold. So I said, come on, it's time to go home. You know, every, everybody had gone home. Uh, so we came home and she was good as gold walking. Got home and then she wants to go out on her bike trike thing. Which means I have to go and push her. That's until she decides she wants to get out and push it herself. <laughs> and she does, she's ever so funny. So we did that for a little bit and then we played with her toys in the garden that she's got in there, which was nice. And then 
she wanted to do something. I can't remember what she wanted. She was playing, yeah, I said, come on, we'll go inside and do it. I can't remember what it was. She said she was cold and she wanted something. I can't remember what it was, actually. I said, come on, we'll go inside to do that. And, and she went in then. Before that, she was like, no, no, I'm not going in. Oh, I was freezing, eh? So we, we went in and then we just chilled, watched some TV together and we played hide and seek under a blanket. Don't ask. And then after that, it, well, that was it really. It, it was pretty much bedtime though. I had our tea, obviously, and headed off for bed. So, I am, I admit, I am looking forward to having another day on Friday. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, I've got to work out my weekly planner of what I'm doing when. So, I don't know if any of you have plans for New Year's Eve. There's not a lot we can really do. We can't go anywhere. Everywhere is pretty much locked down. Not that I do anyway, I spent so many years working in pubs on New Year's Eve and uh, stuff like that that I've um, kind of like staying in, you know. I've done it so many times, New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve and all that sort of stuff that I actually pref now quite like to stay in. Um, but it's always the same when you can't go somewhere, you want to go out. I mean it's like um, the pub I go to the Prince of Wales, they're shut obviously because everywhere is closed. They normally open Christmas Day and they have a real party atmosphere and they have a laugh. And I was going to go with my dad this year. Normally he goes up with my brother. My brother's teetotal, he doesn't drink, he just drinks orange juice or J2O's or something like that. And um, they normally go for a walk along the canal and then have a uh, drink in the pub before popping in our house and going home. But of course Chris couldn't get home this year so I said well if you want to go up we'll, we'll go up, I'll come with you. But of course then they couldn't open and they originally when they could open they said they wouldn't do it because they couldn't do it the way they, they normally did which is have a big crowd in, max capacity, food and all that sort of stuff. And they were they were gutted about it, the owner was gutted. It's this sort of little tradition that they've they've started ever since they've been there, since they took the place over, so That obviously didn't happen and now we're waiting to see what happens with the review which is, I think, I'm not sure, not next week, the week after maybe, but I can't see them lifting the restrictions because it's, the cases are still rising what I gather they're not going down although the good news is that allegedly the good news is that the another vaccine has been now approved which is the one by um, Oxford University and AstraZeneca now I have seen people saying that they're worried because the vaccine is cheaper um, but the reason this vaccine is cheaper it works out as UK three pounds per person I don't know how much the Pfizer vaccine is I don't know what they're costings are. One of the reasons that this is cheaper is that uh, it's a not-for-profit vaccine. They are not making any money on it. They are selling it for the cost of manufacture. I don't know if Pfizer are doing the same. I haven't seen anything to suggest they have but I know that this one is not-for-profit so they're keeping it down. They're doing it for the good of the people which is very unusual. Very, very unusual. Uh, who knows? So we'll have to see. So, I mean, I wasn't expecting to get it to June or July next year anyway, even though I've got asthma. You know, I, I wasn't expecting to get it till late next year. It might come a bit quicker now they've got this one. Uh, another thing with this one is they don't have to store it at minus 80 degrees. It can be stored at normal fridge temperature. So it's going to make it a lot easier to distribute. And you only have to have one dose, not two. That's what I believe, I think. That's it, I'm not really sure on, but we will have to see. So, but yeah. So I've just started watching another YouTube channel that somebody recommended. Um, it's a guy that goes around cemeteries and films uh, stories about the the cemeteries and people in the cemeteries. It's, uh, the channel's name is called Lamont Large. So, I mean, he does normal everyday people. Um, obviously Hollywood Graveyard does Hollywood stars and so does uh, Days with Jordan the Lion uh, and various people. So this is a normal people. Um, he did one 
The last one he did was on a friend of his who recently died and he was very emotional. It was quite sad actually to to watch. Um, I'd only watched one or two of his before and see this, this well not see him because you didn't see him, but to hear this, this man get so emotional about a friend of his, it really was quite moving. Um, but I like what I see so far. I'm looking forward to watching more. He's hoping to get out of America and I think vlog in other countries as well, which would be cool. Um, he hasn't said where, but of course it's all dependent on this situation that's ongoing at the moment. So, so we will have to see what happens with the vaccine. Hopefully it works. I've got no idea. I'm not a scientist, so... But... So after I've done this, I've got a little bit of, oh, there's something I want to do um, because I just want to try something. I've got a new set of something today, colouring related, and I want to do an impressions video on it, let you know what I think, um, and a swatch. I kind of want to do it tonight, but I also I've got to work on my uh, month in, my year in review, so I might have to leave it until after I've done some of the others. Um, because it's not that majorly important, but uh, you will see them in my haul, so um, it's not a very big haul this month, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's a very small haul. Like I said, it's Christmas, just can't afford to, to be buying too much. <laughs> and this item was actually bought with my, whoops, Christmas money that I had. I had some uh, a voucher from Paul's mum for Amazon. And I had some money from Paul's dad, <coughs> which I also spent on various things. So I bought one colouring item, one item for photography purposes, and one for a book. And the item I bought for photography purposes is just a um, set of lenses to go on the front of my, my phone. Because uh, I find it very hard to take photos with Jennifer. Because she... I've got to hold her hand or she's grabbing onto me and it's very hard to do anything with her and all the stuff we have to carry her and a big camera so I thought I'll just use my mobile phone for the time being and when she's a bit older I can get back to using my proper cameras, my big cameras and my film cameras. And the book I bought was the, Phil, the Jean Harlow films, which is a book about Jean Harlow's films. It's quite funny because Jennifer had the book and, and Jennifer looked at the picture of Jean Harlow. I'll show you the picture of Jean Harlow actually on the front of this book. So let me just zoom out a bit so you can see this picture properly. So it was this, this picture and she went, wow, who's that? <laughs> which was quite funny. Um, and then I mentioned it in a, one of the many, one of the few groups I'm in, uh, which is called Harlow in Hollywood on Facebook, um, and it's run by uh, a guy who's written a book on Harlow called Harlow in Hollywood. And it's a beautiful book, and I mentioned that, and I said I'm going to have to show her Harlow in Hollywood, and he said, "Yeah, <laughs> it's good to get started, young. It's a great reaction. That everybody loved it. And the thing is, every time I turn the page and there's a new picture, she go more Jean. <laughs> it was so funny. So." To be young for her films, but I'm sure I'll get her started on them at some point. I love, I love it. If I can get her into old movies, she might be the future. Well, she is the future. She is everything. But, you know, there may be a classic film lover in the, in the making. The only, to be fair, actually, the only film she's really sat all the way through is The Wizard of Oz. She, we sat through, we watched um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas the other week and to be fair, she watched most of it. It's just towards the end she got a bit bored. I actually watched it all. I said, no, I'm watching the end. You made me buy it for you, I'm watching it. Because it's because they watched a bit of it at nursery, she wanted it on. So I actually bought it from Amazon Prime um, to stream. So I bought it rather than rented it. Well, you couldn't rent it, you had to buy it. It was only three ninety nine, so I don't mind now. So I can watch it again next year with her. She might actually watch it properly next year. <laughs> they were watching it on their last day in nursery. It was quite funny, actually. She kept going, Mint, Finch, Grinch. She was trying to say Grinch, but she couldn't say it. She was saying, Minch, <laughs> or something like that. It was rather funny. Uh, so I said, you mean the Grinch? And she went, yeah. I went, all right then. So I put that on. 
But like I said I put on Frozen, she never watched all that. The only one she sat all the way through is The Wizard of Oz. At least she's got taste, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Whether or not I'll actually watch any more films. Well, I will, but not this year probably. Like I said, I had two for Christmas. I had two silent movies I'm looking forward to. Uh, Wings with Clara Bow and uh, the, the Son of the Sheik with Valentino. And I need to watch that very much. And they're the Blu-rays as well. Nice. Can't watch them up here, that's the only thing. I have to find some more films to go on my list now. I'll sort of update it towards the end of May, beginning of June. Because my birthday's at the end of June. Oh, I just have a wish list and then Chris orders stuff, my brother. Gets it sent to my mum and she gives it to me from herself and from him. So that way it's easy done. My last birthday he gave me letters from Hollywood, which I still haven't read. But then I don't get to read very much, so and this and Christmas he gave me the Julie Andrews biography, autobiography, which I'm looking forward to. So I must read letters from Hollywood. I love anything like that. Anything to do with Hollywood, I'm 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 up for. And because I've just ordered this Harlow book and I put the few in my thing it, it, it's constantly recommending me more books I'm like oh look at that one so. another reason I don't want to spend a fortune on colouring books I want to get some more Hollywood books um, but I, I'm trying not to buy too many books at the moment because I am actually trying to get through the huge pile that I've already got I mean I read a book in a day the other day but it's one that Paul gave me for Christmas and then the new Dave Turner came out, which is called Near Life Experience. And I read that in one sitting, so it, it can be done. But then tonight I tried to start reading the Jean Harlow book and I just couldn't read it. It's not because of the, what was in it, it's just that I was trying to read it when Jennifer was up. And at the moment it's impossible to try and do anything um, like that with when Jennifer's up. I can't even colour anymore because she's on me all the time, sitting on me all the time. I'm all right if we're sitting at the table. I might be able to get away, but even then she tries to sit on me sometimes. It's just a phase she's going through. Maybe she'll snap out of it, I hope, at some point. So, but she's just so funny. Yeah, I think, I think I'll do that other thing next time so I can get through some of my... getting my uh, year in review. I mean, I already know how I'm going to do next year's year in review. I'm going to start getting it planned out from month one because it was only something I decided to do towards the end of the month. So this time it's literally just going to be how many books I bought, how many pages I coloured. Some of my favourite pages I will pull out um, and show you. And then it'll be how many books I've read and some of my favourite books and some of the films I've watched and what I, you know, what films I've really enjoyed this year. And there's not many of them. Um, and there'll be other things we'll talk about very quickly. It'll be two cameras, so I'll have to put some makeup on. I don't always, as you know, because uh, if you watch the weekly vlog, I don't bother putting makeup on. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, sometimes you do like to look a little bit presentable. So, this is a lot of blue. Now don't worry if I run out, I've got more of these. And I'm starting to bulk buy them in packs of 10 of one colour. So when I get to, I have got a bag of them somewhere. I'm not actually sure where it is right now. I think it's down the side of the bed. And it, in it, I've got all my link shines. It's still a fair bit in this one anyway. And what I do is when I need one, I just pull the colour out. When it gets down to, I pull the last colour of a particular colour out, because I've had loads of packs of the 10 different colours, I'm just going to order the pack of that one colour. So I know I need to order a pack of blacks. So I might even do that in a minute. I haven't rushed because it's from eBay and it's very busy at the moment. It comes by Royal Mail though, so... You know, it's just one of those things, just so busy. And then when I get down to the next one that's got nothing, I've got one left of. I'll do that and then I'll just open them up, tip them in the bag. I might, once I start getting a lot in there, get some rubber bands and just 
band them together so that all the reds are in one, or oranges, all the greens, and so on. That, yeah, we'll do that in a minute, I think. <laughs> this is taking ages. You must be so bored just watching me colour in with a blinking gel pen. It's not like I'm doing anything special. There's not much to go. Well, there is, but hey. But uh, it's all good. It's all good. So yeah, um, what else have I been watching on YouTube? Mostly it's stuff Jennifer watches, like uh, Coco Melon, and which used to be called ABC Kids, but it's called Coco Melon or something, and uh, T Rex Ranch or Toy Lab TV, whatever they're calling it. She loves that. Not what I want to watch. <laughs> um, um, but when it is me, I'm still watching the same guys. I've been watching Jordan the Lion lately. He's done some really good ones. Uh, I just watched his Patsy Klein plane crash vlog, site vlog. And then he's done some tours in Beverly Hills. So I've been watching those, which is really cool. I, I like those. And they've been very popular. I think it's because he's moved out of LA or Hollywood. Uh, people still like those videos. They're his most popular ones. But he has got to do what he enjoys. And he likes travelling. And I don't blame him. There's a big world out there. And he's been restricted this year due to the situation. So he's not gone abroad like he normally does. He's normally in and out of the country. So he's been travelling a lot around America, which is understandable. I know as soon as he can, he'll probably hop on a plane and hit somewhere. <laughs> He was travelling at the beginning of the year when it all started, I believe. I'm sure he was in Italy at one point. He was in London at one point. I think that was this year. It was just as it was starting to get a bit hairy because there were people were worried he was going to get stuck in Italy. But he, he managed to get home safely, which is good. I always enjoy watching him. Always enjoy watching him. Jennifer used to love watching Jordan the Lion when she was little. I think it's just because he's blonde and really good looking. And he is. He's a very handsome man. And uh, she just loved watching him. She found him fascinating. Don't get a chance to watch him anymore. So I sort of catch up when I can. And so yeah, he's been doing Beverly Hills and um, tours, which is cool. It's always interesting to see the houses of the stars. I mean, some of them I don't know, especially if they're like TV, American TV personalities. We, we don't know them very well over here unless it was a series that was a big hit. Well, I don't think, I don't know who that is. But that doesn't make it any the less interesting. I think it's fascinating, their houses. Some of them are big and huge, and some of them are small. Some of them have been demolished, and uh, some of them have been renovated. So. It's always interesting to see what he comes up with next and where he's going to go next. His topics are always interesting. I don't necessarily watch them all because there are some things I'm not particularly interested in. Like if he does something like about Kiss, it's not my sort of thing of the band. He loves it and that's great and he should be vlogging it and that's all, you know, I can choose to watch it or not. I prefer the Hollywood stuff. I also like the travel vlogs. I'll admit I do like the travel vlogs. But I can't say I watch them every day. I just don't get the chance. It's just too much for me to watch. I still haven't finished watching the Thames television series Hollywood. I was watching that quite religiously and I've stopped. So I'm on episode six, I think. So I wouldn't have, I was either five or six, I can't remember. I'm on Valentino and Swanson, that's what I'm on. I'm pretty sure that's episode six. I think it's been like 13 episodes in total. And I'm really enjoying it, so I can't wait to get on and watch some more. But it's, again, it's having the time, and at the moment I'm so busy with this and work. But it's all good. There's nothing wrong with it. I will watch them. The next time I decide, right, I'm going to film something, and then, or I have a night off completely, because I'm going to make sure that I have at least one night a week where I'm not doing any eBay other than live lists, making listings live. Yeah. And a uh, night when I'm not filming, I might be colouring, but I'm not filming. My screen's gone off. I've just got it back. Oh, I hate it when YouTube does that. It goes right back to the beginning of the video. What is up, YouTube? I've got to skip through it. 
I think that's about where we were. He's just talking about what he's going to do next year. So I'm just going to pop him on pause for a minute. <laughs> oh, dear me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to work out if I'm going to do filming on this day. And I'm going to do eBay on this day. I'm going to have a day off here. Then I'm going to do filming. Then I'm going to do eBay. And the idea is that I do enough on those nights to keep me going. Um, but I need to have at least two to three nights off. So there'll probably be three free nights and two eBay days and two days for filming. And on those off days, I can always, if I need to, do a bit of eBay if I want to, or do a bit of colouring um, filming um, for the channel, or I can do something else. Because um, I do have a, a sort of project I want to start. I've been meaning to start for years and I just don't get around to it. So I might actually have two days off and set a day for that. But I'm only going to work for about a little bit on it because I'll get bored. I mean, I'll maybe do half an hour on it and then I can spend time colouring or watching TV. But it is going to take a lot of work. So I need to do it slowly. But um, you'll hear more about that as that's going on. And if I ever finish it, you'll you'll know what it's about. I'll, I'll tell you. But, uh, because I know what I'm like on doing things. When I say I'm going to do things, and especially something like this, which is a hard project. I'll keep putting it off and I'll put it off. And then you'll be going, what's happening with such and such? And I'll be like, oh, don't ask. So if I don't tell you what it is, you can't ask me. You know, you can say, how's your project going? And I'll go, do you know what? I haven't picked it up for a while. Thanks for giving me a kick I'll have a I'll have a pick on that this week so it's gonna have a little project name it's gonna be called project something but I haven't decided yet but um so Nearly done. Nearly done. any new year's resolutions other mine are, are working on this project uh, is uh, not buying as many coloring books I want to lose weight but I'm not going to make that a resolution I'm just gonna see how it goes it's more exercise I need and I want to get back into my photography a little bit so I'm gonna use my phone for that and hopefully we can um, if I can get back into that. I've started um, doing this blip photo thing again. I'm not doing it every day. I want to try and do it every day next year. But I did blip today. And I've blipped a couple of times this week. So I'm trying to get back into it. It's something I do every now and again. But I would like to do it again every day like I used to. And sometimes if you're ill, it's literally a case of, oh, I'm going to just <clears throat> blip something in the living room. Or, oh, I'm reading this book. I'm just going to blip a bit about it. And that happens. People have accidents. I mean, there's one one of the women that's broken her wrist, so she can't do what she normally does. She can't even hold her camera properly, so she's just snapping various things that she that takes her fancy with her phone. I'm going to use my phone because it's easier than lugging a camera around with me when I'm out with Jennifer. Because I've got to make sure I can grab hold of her hands, and it's easier to do that if you've got a phone than if you've got a. DSLR or a, a bigger camera. I mean, okay, it's around your neck most of the time, but it gets in the way. Especially if a child wants you to pick them up for a cuddle. So this way, I'd be better off. 
Oh, we nearly finished. Oh, my hand's starting to cramp, I think. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, it's gone off again. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's just gone onto the screen saver. That's all right. So, yeah. So I've I've enjoyed colouring this month. I haven't done as much as I wanted to. It's been a hard month to colour what with Christmas and everything, I think. Um, but I have still done some. You know, I've done some I'm proud of. I've got one I want to finish. When I've done this, I might do a little bit of it. I've only got a little bit of it left to do and then it's finished. I'm really proud of it so far and I want to finish it so I can show you it. But... Uh, I've got a few Christmas ones still on the go I want to finish, but I might not get to finish them until the beginning of January, which is fine. I'm quite happy to finish them off. Um, I might, I, might, I want to try and finish some of my whips. I've got so many whips on the go, it's unreal. I've got to finish them off. Um, you know what it's like, you start something and then you stop and then you lose your motivation for it. I know if I get back to it, I'll be all right. It's just getting back to it. You know, I've got to finish off my Kirby Rosanis one. I've got two uh, Beauty of Horror books on the go. I've got to finish pictures in. One only got has done. I've done the background, and that was the biggest part of it. So it's not going to take that long to finish. It's just getting down to it. And the other one I've only just started. I've got one in Serene. I really need to to decide what I'm going to do and try and finish at least one whip next month. <clears throat> not including the Christmas ones on top of the Christmas ones I'm going to try and do that I think it's a magical feel one because it's almost done there's not much left I was doing it with the polychromos and then I've stopped I've started using the Black Widows as well uh, just to get some different colours into it so quite happy with that nearly there this blue there's a lot of blue I'm just so glad that there's still a bit in there I don't know if it's going to be enough though this is going to go off soon anyway so if it goes off I'll I will do it so I really do hope that in a way I do want things to get back to normal I want to be able to go to places I want to be able to go to Cardiff I want to be able to go on holidays Tembi next summer I don't know if I'm going to be able to yet you know I want to be able to go and show you places I want to take Jennifer places you know I want to go to car boot sales I haven't been to one this year I love car boot sales I usually go to loads obviously to buy stuff to resell but also to buy stuff for myself and for Jennifer you know I, I always have a look at records at, at car boot sales and if there's something I want I pick them up and if there isn't I don't and and stuff like that um <laughs> But, you know, I, it's just, it's been one of those years you've know, been able to do it. And, you know, you've just sort of like sucked it up and said, OK, fair enough, but it can't go on. Let's hope that we find our way out of this soon. Oh, somebody's putting some rubbish out. So Summer Wales has had snow at where I haven't, we haven't. We had a few flakes a few weeks ago, <laughs> but um, so places like Blenavon, they've had a fair bit and it's settled and it looks really nice um, up by the Keeper's Pond, there's a place called Keeper's Pond, but um, and they're asking people not to go there because of the <laughs> pandemic, but uh, oh, where I am, not a flake yet, so I think it's supposed to snow New Year's morning or this Saturday after New Year day after I'm not actually sure but it's going to be flaky it's going to be more sleet than snow I think it says snow and rain so to me that says it's going to be sleet <laughs> and not very much of it so gutting it's not that so far too young it turned itself off to actually enjoy it so I want her to be able to see it and touch it and enjoy it now I know she's got many years where she can but she's only seen it on TV so on things like um, YouTube and she's seen it on Peppa Pig and the cartoons and stuff like that and she knows what it is, she goes, she goes snow I'm like yes, yeah, snow but she hasn't actually 
I showed it her when it was snowing outside. I, I took her to the the door and showed it to her. I said, look, it's snowing. Um, but um, she's not really seen it settled in person and I want her to. And she was far too young the year she was born. She was barely a month old, if that. She may not have even been a month old. Love her art. Sweetie. But uh, we have nearly finished now. I keep saying that. We've nearly finished the blue bit. Then we've just got the snow and the frame. Oh, Christmas comes and goes too quickly though, doesn't it? You know, as soon as it, it, it arrives, it's gone. And you're like, oh, it's still winter. Now, I'll admit, I'm, I like the winter. I don't like being too hot. I sleep with my window open most of the year. I do close it if it's windy. Because, you know, it could be very noisy and the, the interior door, doors can bang. But, I mean, I've got my window open now and it's, it's really cold. And I can feel it's cold, but I prefer it. I don't like being hot. I'm just one of those people where I just don't do the heat. My mum's the same. Always has been. I don't mind it being warm if it's summer and I'm sitting outside and I just don't have to do anything. Um, but I really am not keen on it. I don't like it so hot that I'm sweating and I can't move and my clothes are sticking to me and oh. But I do like you know, if I'm on holiday, I like it to be warm and hot then. I just chill out by the pool. You know, I don't like it hot, but this is a girl who loves Tenerife. Yep. One of my favourite places, Tenerife. I'd move there if I could. Well, that's just me. Right, that's that bit done. Oh, God, my hands are really hurting. Is that the clear one or is it the, that's the clear one. I don't see the difference between the clear and the white because I can't actually see the white on it when it comes out, but hey, here's the white one. So I'm just going to do this bottom bit here. White, because it's snow. You've got to have a bit of snow, haven't you? I think we're doing the white. You don't have to worry about the coverage so much. You can't really see anything. I am putting it down and I can see it's there. I can see that it's sparkling. Looks really nice. And then, oh, these blinking white dots on here. Make sure I get them. It's annoying. I hate, I hate things like this. Not that I just want to get it finished. I do, but I'm also enjoying this. It's just things like this. It's like, oh, I've got to make sure I get them all. Have I got that one? Have I got that one? I think I got that one. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> you know, you can't really tell sometimes because it's white on white and it just sparkles and you can't see what I'm doing. Not that it makes any difference because you can't see what I'm doing anyway. And we're just going to do um, a silver around the edge. Oh god, these blinking snowflakes. I will check them when I've finished. I'm bound to have missed some, because there's just they're not even, which obviously snowflakes wouldn't be, so that's fine. Well, that's, I think that might if I miss a couple, really. I'll do. There we go. Silver! I'll just start it up over here. Let me just pull it out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Here we go. Silver, 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 silver. So this has just been done with Link Shines and Jenny Rolls. I have got uh, other gel pens, but they've been downstairs for most of the week. They're up here now because I brought them up to do something else um, to finish a picture off, which I've now done. So I've coloured loads this month. I'm thinking I might have coloured over this year, not this month. I think I might have coloured over a hundred pictures this year, which is really cool. But then of course you you want to beat it next year, don't you? 
so that's how it goes. Yeah, there we go. Right, oh dear me. So I've got to decide what we're going to do next. I haven't got a clue yet. I've decided. Maybe we'll do a Hannah Carlson to start the month off. I don't know. Or a Hannah Lynn. Or a Selena Fennec. I haven't got no idea yet. I've got the weekend to decide. Because I'll be filming my monthly wrap-ups over the next few days. And the yearly roundup. But after that, who knows what we're going to be doing next. I mean, it could be anything. I have got so many books to use. And I do, although I want to colour in some of the books I've already coloured in, I do want to colour in all the books I've got. Or as many as I can. Without adding too many more to the huge collection. I don't know how many books there are. So well over 200 there's got to be. I haven't counted them. I might do actually when I put everything away at the end of the month. And I'll put it in my uh, monthly roundup. My end of the year. I keep calling it a monthly roundup. It's the end of the year roundup. There's silver glitter everywhere on this page. Okay, nearly finished. It's very, very sparkly. I will say that. There we go. That's it. So I'll just zoom out, at least it's got a tab in it ready for the end of the month. So you can see there's my shiny Christmas tree uh, for the last picture that we will be filming on camera the 2020. Oh my god we're near the end of the year. So all I'm going to say now guys is Happy New Year. I really hope that 2021 is a really great year for you. I hope it's great for all of us. We deserve it. We deserve a good year after the year we've had. So I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye guys.